All right, welcome back. So now that we have done bruises, we are going to do lacerations. All right, so lacerations. I am going to gash open my nose. So here we go. Um, I'm going to, again, use my latex. You can use either latex or you can use um, Prosade, whichever one your skin is okay with. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, sorry. Not do it that way. I want to use a sponge. Um, and make, I'm going to paint my latex on here. And then do this whole bridge bone. And the thing I'm going to do differently is I've got a set of tissues that we are going to incorporate. So I have toilet paper um, and I'm going to rip it apart to get a singular layer. So, and then I'm going to attach that on. And what you'll be able to do is rip around this layer um all right so get off any excess and then layer number two same thing always blending out your sides a little further um, the reason I chose my nose is because this area doesn't move a lot. Um, up here on my brow bone, I'm going to have a little bit of issues with the one I did earlier because, oh, 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 we're going to have a fold. You know, it's going to be in there and it's going to be fine. Um, this is to help us build up texture. And the nice thing about using the tissue is I don't have to wait as long in between every layer to dry. So just going to keep going. All right. This is my third layer. Um, and I'm not going to, well, I guess I am. So after my third layer of tissue, I'm going to stop with the tissue and I'm just going to do two more layers of latex over this and I will be right back as I'm going to dry this with a hair dryer real quick. So that is dry. So I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. Really try and blend out my edges. So I'm extending this latex a little further than one over here. So I'm just going to do some straight up latex on my sponge and then go ahead and just dab it on your cheekbone because this is what we're going to tear open. So again, let it dry. So pause. Then I'm going to do another layer. I'm going to do, I like to do about five for latex layers. So again, sponge it on there. And why don't we go ahead, since we're already in the process of this, do another on the nose. All right, so that is pretty good. So I'm going to add another layer. And honestly, the more layers you have the patience to do, the better. Mine is pretty good. Um, and what I'm going to do is go ahead back in with my foundation. Um, and for this, 
I will be using my Ben Nye um, because I just think it covers this up a little bit better. So it's not as important down here, but I really want to hide this until it blends in with my skin. Alright, so that's a pretty good layer of the Ben Nye, and then I'm going to use my normal foundation, and I'm going to blend out from there to help sell that. Oh, my hair is getting a little wild. All right. Okay. Um, so once that. I've got blended out to a point that I like, okay. Um, and I'm going to powder that a little bit. So, oops. All right, with a fluffy brush, just go ahead. And then what I'm gonna do from here is map out my tears. Um, so I'm gonna use the brush from earlier with the bright red, and we're gonna have gash going up here and I'm just going to draw this out with the red and then we drew this here and I'm going to we're going to do a gash about there and then um, I'm going to do a little bit of the abrasion technique and tear open our skin there. Yeah. Okay. So now from here, what I'm going to do is sometimes I like to use a pin to figure out how to slice this open. Um, so you don't want to hit your skin, so, which is the beauty of the tissue paper is it really hides it. Yeah, there we go. So once I got that up a little bit, I'm just going to yeah, okay, separate a little bit. And I'll go in and snip that open. You see how? Yes. Okay. So this is going to create our texture um, as we pull this open. And I think it's the most believable to rip parts of it off so that you get a more irregular shape. So, I'm just going to kind of hold underneath my red and rip that off. When it exposes, this is directly my skin here. So, do that all the way around. it's about the shape I wanted. Beautiful. Okay, and then over here I'm gonna do the same thing. Find my latex. And remember we didn't do the same thing over here. I didn't use the paper. So I'm just using the pin to rip that up, set it aside, and might use my nail to spread it open. Alright, I'm going to 
little bigger and I want it a bit more irregular so I'm just gonna try and yeah rip it off there we go that's about what I want um, all right so once you've got it like this I know a few things that I want some white to be showing to mimic a bone um, so what I'm gonna do to do that is I have my white highlight that I'm gonna use with a clean brush if I have any um, use this one this is a bit bigger than I want but it's what I'm working with at this moment that I'm gonna get a lot of that on there So this is probably going to be a bigger line than I want, um, but I'm trying to create one line going straight down. And then that bone line there. So I'm just going to get the white in there and then we'll cover it up. So. So that's the only spot we're going to need white. Um, in the other spots, I'm actually going to go in and on the inside edges, paint with this really dark color. It's a really good base for the light red to go on top of. And then especially in here, so I'm going to go along this edge and paint both my tissue and remember to not mess up your white like I just did. So I'm going to go ahead and make that straight line and then right there. edges all right so that's how we're gonna start it and then what I'd like to do from here is wipe that brush off and I'm gonna go back in with red on top of it so we're gonna get in here and you see how that just creates a really good base to create kind of a dark blood um, so make sure to squeeze it into the edges and then you can start building it outside of it as well. Um, same thing over here. spot up and then I'm gonna extend this further especially on my nose here I'm gonna get all up on here because this is all gonna get lacerated A little blood all right more around here okay yeah all right from here I am going to scoop a little bit of my red out um, and I'm gonna get it onto my stipple and we're gonna just around the area 
And as you're going, I like to go back and forth between um, that red and also kind of a brown black color kind of to, because if you're, the effect is that if your backstory is that your character um, fell onto the ground, which is kind of what mine is, to tear her face open. I'm also going to use my fake blood to fill in to this cavity. Um, and that really starts to sell it a little bit more. But I'm going to go into this one. Also do the same thing. And then I am going to take my stipple brush and do that on all of these areas. So I may have gone a little far, and if you feel this way, about your own go ahead and this is when you just play with colors um i'm gonna go back in with a little bit of foundation um you can also go back in with your stipple sponge with your foundation and that just really helps um, get it in there and tone down some of that. So once you've got that, go ahead and blend anything that's a bit more help being blended. So on this side of my nose, I'm just going to quickly start building up some bruises. It's really good to directionally decide which way things are going. I like to add the black dark colors on the edges of these thing for this. Let's see. All right. This fake blood is my favorite. So I'm just going to add a little bit more in. Um, and stippling it on is my absolute favorite. All right. And then once you're pretty satisfied, you can go in and powder some things if you want to. But I always think that it sells a little bit better if you let it kind of be a little wet. Hope you enjoyed it. All right. So I actually did end up going back in 
and I got rid of some that was on the brow bone and I added some blush around certain parts of um, the abrasions and cuts just because it helps sell uh, more of the bruising. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.